When I initially started this project, I could not decide if I wanted to go with the collar or the wings, but I finally decided on the collar and I am using this piece of wire to start forming out my collar. I did measure out what size it would be based on putting it on my shoulders. I marked those areas and then I cut the wire to size. For my frame, I am using some foam board that I had left over in my craft room that I got from the Dollar Tree. I will use the wire just to um, give it some sturdiness. I decided to go with a thickness of two inches for my frame. I'm using some tape just to attach the wire to the board so that I can try to go around and create a perfect half circle, which did not end up very perfect. <laughs> Once I got that all cut out, I did tape the wire to the back of the foam board. I decided to use felt in order to cover the foam board. Um, I cut about an inch. I probably would have gone about an inch and a half just to get really good coverage. Um, and I would have done an inch and a half on each side. But in the end, you'll see that I do make it work. However, um, in order to save yourself a lot of time and headache, just go ahead and cut that either the width of your board or, um, you know, a width and a half or you know something like that so just do what works best for you but try to make it to where you have as less work as possible so now I'm adding my feathers and what I'm doing is I wanted to get these as close to the edge as possible without them falling I did place my peacock feathers first and I'm placing all of my black feathers in between those peacock feathers because I'm placing those so close to the end, um, if the glue is not at least pretty tacky or you don't give it some time to dry, they will fall off. So you want to make sure that you kind of hold the feather so that the glue dries and then you can move on to the next feather. So now that I have the black done, it's time to move on to the white feathers. With the white feathers, I actually did cut off a portion of the stem and then I placed those over the black ones, kind of trying to get it in between the black stems um, just to kind of fill that in. And I did place them further down so that it gave it some thickness. So now I'm taking my black boa with the green and I'm going to um, place that directly in the middle because it wasn't quite the length of the foam board So I'll start from in the middle and start um, Going my way out to the edges and that's going to go right over the white Once I have the black down I'm going in with my bluish green boa and that's going to go over just one inch down from where the black is now I'm finishing up with the same jewels that I used on my costume. What I don't show here in this video, and you'll see it in the final um, video of the whole costume, is I did use ribbon to attach this around my waist. And as you guys can see, here is the finished collar. And I really love how this turned out. This really set my whole outfit all together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.